a little messed up here. Welcome to your Daily Smash for Monday, August 19th, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Recognize me? Huh? You recognize me? I think you look better clean shaven. I feel weird, actually. Do I feel you? like I'm, my face is naked. Really? I've had this goatee for a long time. I know. And Kelly thought that I would, I should shave. She thought I would look better. And you do? You think it, it looks better? I think you look a little bit more profesh. <laughs> don't you? I, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen myself on TV yet since I, I just shaved today. I found my razor. Uh, no, I already had my razor. But I, I just, I don't know. I, I listened to my wife and, and you know, I, I was on TV with that goatee for the last three months. And now I'm going to try it without it and see how that goes. Yeah. Um, I want to mention that, what are those? Oh, I'm putting my tennis shoes on. We're going to the fur. I those, got my Gitafies. Look at how these are. I love these. I those love are the, really cool looking. The comfort fit. The gratify. The gratify I got mine too. Fire. So it's Gitafy Monday. Uh, Gitafy back. Offering the Smash 20 discount. You, any order over 100 bucks, use this, uh, our discount code Smash 20 and get $20 off. So you can get the most comfortable tennis shoes. Well, not tennis shoes. What do you call them? I call Athlete. them tennis shoes, but everyone calls them sneakers. Or if you're in England, sneakers. you call them trainers. They um, actually relieve pain. They are the most comfortable. You Like you're walking on air. They come with built-in orthotics. So you, you can put the inserts in or not. But they give you even more cushion, more back support. Um, do you know what I love about these? What? I walk a lot. They, they don't give me shin splints. I used to go to Roadrunner and I would have to run on this like on this treadmill mm -hmm. and they would see that I would run inward, right? Yeah. And they would get me these brooks to and then they would give you the inserts like they have. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, I don't get shin splints anymore. I can walk, my lower back doesn't hurt, it aligns me. It's amazing. These sneakers are amazing. Yeah, they are. And they have patented micro shot micro Sorry, patented Verso Shock technology. And that gives you the support that you don't get from other shoes. They make you taller. And I'm telling you, I love wearing them. They just they just feel great. And and you are walking on air essentially. It's just like shock absorbers. So anyway, G Defy, Smash 20, go get some. You guys like my top? It's Jessica Barra. Okay. 20. Percent off. Jessica Barra okay, is, 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 is providing Kelly with a lot of beautiful outfits. I cannot believe the amount of clothes that she sent me. What's it's your so discount good. code on Jessica Barra? Kelly 20. Kelly 20. Another Kelly. Smash 20 and Kelly 20. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love it too because... I mean, I got so many compliments on this. <laughs> you I, did. I wore this and I was like, oh my God, that is so classy. It's cute. Everything everything that, that they make, that she makes and, and you put on fits you like a glove. It does. Now, what size do you wear, Jessica Barra? A large. Large? Really? Mm -hmm. You're not a large. I am a large. For her. For, for her, her clothes. For her clothes. Interesting. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm a large in a lot of things. I'm like a medium and a large in normal clothes, too. I know people think, it's, it, it, but it's Because true. You're, you're tall. You're 5'8", five, oh, five, mm. right? I'm Is that big, why? I'm a big bitch. <laughs> you're... <laughs> 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 I want to let everyone know... That we got our new refrigerator, and it works. We had more drama because the guys didn't want to take the old one with them, and it was another round of you know what. Home Depot even called me to try and explain what went, what happened, and I explained to them that this was incredibly ridiculous that they were here to bring the new one and wouldn't take the old one even though it said it on their sheet, and she's like, yeah, well now they're on their route, they can't come back. I was like. Okay, so I have to have this refrigerator in my, in my living room for the next three days? They came back 20 minutes later and picked it up. Thanks, guys. I guess we just had a big, huge crying session with Jolie right now because F face Michael Dodd is causing so many problems for Jolie and it is unbelievable. She's leaving and he was supposed to take her out for her to go, you know, say your goodbyes for dinner. For dinner. It didn't take, by the way, for her 18th birthday, didn't buy her a card and didn't buy her a gift and did not take her out to dinner. Okay. 
so. 18th birthday. 18th birthday. And uh, she says, your dad's going to take me. I said, is he going to give you any, is he going to help in any way possible? Is he? She's like, well, I'm going to go down there right now. And he, she was crying. She called me crying. Again, he's psychologically and like he's twisted, like so screwed up. He's emotionally abusing her. Yes. Emotionally abusing her. And mm-hmm. now it's my fault. He's writing right. to Rick saying it's my fault. He's for, taking for, out. For, for parent alienation. Okay. Right. This man hasn't taken Julie on a vacation since she was in eight, eight years old. Has never taken her out to dinner. She's 18. She can go do it. Like You made a great point earlier. She's been working at ARC at a restaurant for two years. He never came to visit her at work. Never had dinner there when she was working. Never visited her at work. And then accused her of not saving any money when she has $4,000 in a bank account that she set up. Hey, open it. Are you and leaving? Mila can't go. You need to finish your school work first. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying I don't know if I can do the OC tricks. I just want to do Okay, get, get your homework done. Okay, love you. I feel so bad for her. Oh, my God. I just feel bad for her. You know, it's like she didn't... I wanted to take her to the fair now to help her. Like, she's like, my dad is the worst human being. I went over there. He's like, you have, you didn't get include me in any of your um, college stuff. Mm-hmm. You did nothing. I have text messages. I said, when we went to go visit the school, do you want to come with us? God, and that took everything out of me to include him. <laughs> to okay? even invite him in to the first place? To even invite him. But I wanted him to feel a part of her, you know, being a parent. And no response, no acknowledgement, no, no right? No, no. Then he, we would go to Kaplan, which is like a school student. They try to, you know, they help you write your... your they do. They help you with the college the stuff. Yeah. It's called college, Kaplan. College counselors. And Michael's in there with me. And he was like, I'm sorry, I wasn't a part of your... your." Well, he apologized. Yeah, he apologized. That's so rare. And I said to him, I'm like, I'm shocked. He was like, I can apologize. And then now, right now, he's telling Jolie, uh, you never included me in any of this. I am i don't know what you're doing. The, my stepkids are saying that your behavior is a... Tr-. Jolie's like, wait, what? Why are you talking... Why are you and your stepkids talking bad about me? She's like, yeah. I, I stay out of the way. Like... He, he could have taken her on college tours, which is what dads typically do with their kids. They take them to visit My dad did. schools. He could have. He wanted to go to school in London. He should have taken her to, to London. and, and take, He's from there. He should have taken her around and showed her the schools and, and, and been there for her, but he wasn't. And it wasn't until after she did all this herself and we helped her get accepted. She got accepted to, to AUP in Paris and... We made all the arrangements, and then all of a sudden he's like, well, I wasn't part of this, so I don't support it. Nah. And he blames Kelly. And he blames me. For alienating her. I, he's saying, I did parent... I never, never, I, I, I've never, ever once said, Julie, don't go over to your dad's. Don't go on a trip. He's never invited her. He's never even gone to see her work. All you do is, is sympathize with her when he mistreats her. Yeah, when, and, then and I you, go nuts. Listen. Dude, when you somebody hurts your kid and they're crying and she's like, I, I spin up, like, she, they're, they're hysterical. Yeah. It's like the mama bear comes out and you want them freaking, like, beat up like, now, or, or worse. She, you have encouraged her to spend more time with her father. He won't, though. But he's not reciprocal. Right. And you have gone after him. I mean, you've gone after him hard because he deserves it. But this guy came after me before I ever met him. I didn't know him at Rick all. Calling Gonzo, calling him names, calling me names that you know, was saying all these nasty things about me when I never even met the guy. And all I did was fall in love with his ex-wife. Yeah, you know, and and all of a sudden I'm a villain, and he never thanked me for taking care of his daughter for the last four years. But I think, really, almost five years. I think it's because he's he's vindictive and angry and jealous. He's mad at you and he's and he and he's jealous of me, I guess, and he's taking it out on his daughter. It is it, it is psycho and then reversing it. And then Jolie wrote this whole dissertation saying that you've never done this, 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 this. Laid it all out. Laid it all A out. Very long text. And he said, "Bullshit. Please apologize." Not even please. No. Apologize. This is BS. This is all BS. Apologize. She, Jolie's like, "You know what?" I'll, I'll get school loans. I'll do whatever it takes 
for me to get educated if he's not going to pay the other half. And I, I'm listen. I'm sorry if this is too personal. I'm sorry. No, if, I want everybody to know. I, I can't because it's just happened just now. We, we we share our lives here. This is one of the things we do. We talk about our lives. Julie's like, I don't want to have anything to do with him now. I don't. I will figure this out. She's like, I will get school loans. I will do whatever it takes to 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 succeed. I, I'm that he's emotionally abusive to me and he can't see it. He's writing to Rick that I'm abusive. Right. It's all on well, you. Well, I am abusive towards him. <laughs> but he, he, he asks for it because of his own behavior. And what I said to him was, you have to own your behavior. You can't keep blaming others for your bad behavior. You have to own it. And I brought up the example of the way he treated me. And I brought up the example of the way he's been treating Jolie and how she... Doesn't want anything to do with him. But because, he writes about me. Yeah. It's, it's all, all about, about you. It's all about me. Yeah. Nothing about her. Right. I'm sorry, bro. We've been gone. We've been out of sorts for six years, seven years now. I've been do I'm done with you. I've moved on. Yeah. But he hasn't, clearly. He has not moved on. Mm -mm. So it's sad, but at least she has you and, and you? she has me. And we're going to take care of her. We you know already what? have. I hope, I hope to God she doesn't talk to him anymore. I honestly, I honestly, he is so mentally abusive I, I would put it differently. Her. I hope that he realizes how abusive he's been to her. That narcissists I, can't, narcissists can't. Uh, but my hope would be that he has a come to Jesus moment and does the right thing. Because I don't want her to not have a relationship with her father. He I'm, doesn't want to have a relationship with her. He I does know. nothing for I her. I know. It's sad. He does just... nothing. His whole thing was, I paid for her modern day. Yeah. He paid for the last two years of modern day. Okay? I pay, I helped pay for the last, the first two years. Mm -hmm. I helped, I split it with him. Mm -hmm. Okay? I didn't pay the last two years, but I also paid her car, her car insurance, her health insurance, her uh, roof over her head. Mm -hmm. She's paying time. That. All of it. All of it. Well, and and he gives her fifty dollars here, fifty dollars. Just oh, I put money in her bigger. That's called child support, you moron. Yeah, it didn't add up to what he would have been paying you for the last I don't know how many years. Yeah, if you had taken him to court and gotten child support. I know I didn't get child support. I'm like an idiot that I am. <laughs> well, I didn't. So want to have to deal with him. He's he's mad because he wasn't. Part of the decision, it wasn't his idea for her to go to Paris. He's mad because she did it without him. And now he doesn't want to support her because she went over his head, basically, and got into a school in Paris, and we're supporting her doing that. And he wasn't a part of it. It wasn't his idea. So now he's trying to take it out on as her. As parents, we're there to support our kids, not tear them down. Yeah. That's what we do as parents. Yeah. I told him that, too. I was like, you know, she's the one who's suffering because you're not... I mean, the, what a psychological abuse. I know one of our smashers went in there and they're like, don't worry, karma will come and get him. She's my my ex-husband was the same. And you know what? He's dead. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you for writing that in. It made me so happy. I smiled really, really like it made my whole day when I read that. <laughs> it did. <laughs> um, it, it, it is heartbreaking, but... You know, again, like she, she has you and she has me. So, yeah. um, but the way he just wrote to him was to Rick on on text message just now because I'm like I can't deal with him. Like he's like I I just go nuts. I can't like it just I can't have a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. He drives me like like insane. Like I do go abusive to him because he's a he's abusive towards my daughter. I don't want to have anything to do with. Just support your kid and give her money. Be a dad. Man up. It's, 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 he comes up with every excuse uh -huh. not to. Right. Every reason why he shouldn't or won't. And oh, I have to see results. I want, you know, when, if she steps up and does X, Y, Z, then maybe I'll contribute. Like, I uh, have, you have to FaceTime me every day. She's like, you haven't even taken me out to dinner. Yeah. You haven't even gone to my work. You've never even supported anything that I have done. Why would she want to FaceTime him every day when all he does is just tear her down and abuse her and mean to her and he's not supportive? Like, he's done nothing. He's done nothing. And he was trying to tell us what to do after we paid for the semester, paid for her lodge, for her, her room for the year. He was trying to tell us, you have to open a bank account. You have to do this. I was like, whoa, dude, what are you doing? 
Your daughter. What what have you done? Then, then Why are you she, telling us what to do? She, we she, already did everything. Wait, wait, wait. The, be, the best part, the best part is she writes this uh, why she wants to go to American University of Paris. He was a part of that. Remember? Because she was like, we were out of town. Yeah. And she was, had to write her thing. Oh, the, oh yeah. So he was That's a right. part of it. He knew she was applying at American University of Paris. I was like, right. she's like, Dad, okay, um, wh- can you, there was this part that said, why do you want to go? Yeah. And she's like, I have to go to the bathroom. Can you just write this um, part get, for like, me? Get it she's started like, for just me? get it started for me, like that. And she's like, and it said, why do you want to go to American University? She's like, because I want to learn a language, I want to be in a different culture, I want to learn, I want to do international business, blah, 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 blah. She comes back and she sits down and she says, I want... Well, this is what he wrote. This is what he wrote. I want to go to American University because my dad is British and I have a British passport and my dad and he- ran four major public companies. <laughs> and she sits down and she's like, what, what, what is running four public companies? companies have to do with me wanting to go to American and you being British I think he was just he was just trying to punish her again and also trying to you know say well I'm not writing your essay for you so I'm just going to write about myself he's a narcissist and he's uh, abusive toward her and uh, I hate to see it but how can he say I'm parent alienating she's 18 like you haven't done you've alienated yourself from this yeah. You have. I've never said don't take her on a trip, don't don't spend any time with her. Uh, I never said don't live with your dad. I encouraged her to have one week week on, one week off. He married this loser, Laura BB White, and with three kids, and Julie didn't have a room in that house. Didn't have a room. Well, I think that's enough on that topic. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. It's, I had to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> you feel better? I feel better. Yes. She yes. Jolie today packed three large suitcases. One of them is a rolling duffel bag. It's like this big. Got that. Everything's overweight. Everything's overweight. Every one of them. Wait, it's this one. This, I think this one has a cylinder. Oh, thank you. Um you know what? Solenda I, I, I need some is a total this. daily supplement providing highly desirable essential nutrients. Soul Life Minerals are organic, all natural, vegan. Is, there's no water in there. What is it? It's fresco, but there's none left. Oh, there's and no. highly absorbable. Oh, okay. I'll Tell them later. how absorbable they are, honey. They're so absorbable, they absorb right into your, your bloodstream. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> But the fact is, you don't get enough minerals in your daily diet anymore, so you need your mineral supplements. It's just like taking vitamins. you got to take your minerals, and you're not going to find better minerals than Soul Life. SoulLife.com slash Rick and Kelly. Order two or more bottles and put it on auto order so you'll get them every month. Because you have to take these every day, and after a few weeks, you will see results. But you got to take them every day because you, your body needs these, and taking them for a day or two isn't enough. You need them like... All the time. So and we take them every day. I went to um, Ice Spa, the Korean scrub spa today. And Tiffany and Megan had never been. They had never been? Uh-uh. And you put on these pink jumpsuits on before you go. And you can go into these different igloos, right? One's a salt room. One's a clay room. And they each one has like different properties. One has... Good for, and then they want to have a, like a cold room, like a cold, like cold room for your lymphatic system. And one is, you know, like a salt room that takes out all the toxins and blah, blah, blah. I mean, all different kinds of things. And then we go and everyone's naked. And <laughs> some ladies in there have big bushes. Some are like <laughs> stick skinny. Some like have like, it is, it is like weird. And you know, me, I, I, I could care less. Everybody, every. Bo- every body type is different uh-huh but they were like this oh my god they, they were like they were they like, uncomfortable they were uncomfortable being around naked women they were just like because it was like right in your face you know yeah <laughs> well i don't like being but around naked dudes so, good. so it, i can kind of relate it feels so good like my skin yeah so she, they were like i think two pounds of skin came off what because they scrub you in sheets of 
like rolls really? of skin comes off. Oh my god. It feels so good. <laughs> and then they rub you down. Oh, I'm jealous. With the aromatic oil. Oh, it's so good. I got to rub down this morning. Then we ate at raw sushi. I haven't eaten raw, raw, raw sushi since Arizona days. Yeah. Like 30 years ago. It was gross. It was gross? It was gross. Why? It was just... Not good. Mm-mm. Like, I would never eat there again. Oh, my goodness. It was horrible. And when you say raw, is it R-A or... Uh, R-A. Oh, raw. Like, horrible. And there was nobody in there. I see why. Yikes. Yeah. The one thing you don't want is bad sushi. I know. Well, I ate one and it tasted like... Oh, no. Fish. How do you feel now? I feel fine. I, I just... It was... I ate leftover Thai food today. Very good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I think we should just get to In the News now, and then we can go to the fair. Okay. In the News now. In the News. These airports make passengers walk the longest distance, sometimes more than two miles to your departure gate. Now, I want to play a game with you. This is a survey by Reader's okay. Digest. Don't, don't I'm cheat. I'm not looking. I swear to God. Pulled 800 random travelers on their personal experiences, and they measured the distance from the gate, uh, sorry, from the terminal to the farthest gate which airport do you think has the longest distance from let's say the security line to to a gate the farthest gate it's either atlanta or houston houston is in the top five but number dallas yes i didn't even look at it swear to god good job thanks good job dallas fort worth international number one is the definition of sprawling Research revealed a passenger can wind up walking 2.16 miles just trying to get in or out of the facility. No, no, no. I was on American Airlines in Dallas. Yeah. And it said A16 or whatever, right? Uh -huh. So I'm just giving an example. I go to A16 and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to Chili's and have, or Papa Do's or whatever it was, and I'm yeah. going to have some a drink and something to eat. Yeah. Think Because it said it on there. Gate change to <laughs> C21. Oh, God. I'm like, gate change, right? You think uh -huh. American is all in the same like, Right, vicinity? you expect it to be right down there. Oh, no, 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 no. You had to get on a, on, I thought I was going to miss my flight. Like, miss my flight. Yeah. You had to get on a, like, a, a tram. Mm -hmm. And it was on the other whole side <laughs> of, it was ridiculous. I'm like, this is absurd. Yeah, that's a big airport. Uh, number two. I was surprised to learn, is Washington Dulles International. There, you could walk up to 1.62 miles getting from A to B, over a mile and a half. And number three, you mentioned it, George Bush Intercontinental in Houston. Uh, number four, I'm oh, sorry, number four is Denver. Oh. 1.45 miles. And then JFK in New York came in fifth at 1.38. I Interesting. Think, I don't think JFK is that big. They said they measured it from the, from the you know one end to the other. It's the fifth longest walk that you could take. I thought it would be Miami. Me too. Miami is sprawling. It seems like you walk forever to get to the gate. Yeah, Miami is forever. Even Phoenix is forever. But there's Denver. I know. It looks like clown things there. And we were just talking about Denver Airport the other day because someone was asking me if I knew about the the Freeman or whatever with the weird murals in there. It was weird in there. <laughs> right? Um, I like Denver, though. I like Denver a lot. Denver's a cool it is. town. It I is. like Denver. Yeah. Okay. Reminds me of Phoenix a little bit. Yeah, Denver's Denver's nice. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. All right, we're going to go uh, hang out with Jolie. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go help her with her homework and see. Because she's got summer school at community college, so she can... Like she's Getting an older, she's her. like she's a good kid. Yeah, she you know, is. like she's taking two classes to to get ahead in college. Yep. yep. She's she worked at Arc for two years. She, you know, like she's she's she, she, she was had some Kumati. hiccups. She had some hiccups in high school, but we all we all did. Yeah. And she got through it. Yeah. And she graduated cum laude. That's I'm proud of her for I'm, that. I'm proud of her too. And her her dad should be proud of her. But no, instead of giving he, her a hard time all the time. Shuts her down on everything. Everything's bad. No, nothing's a, a praise. Yeah. Enough on that. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, 
It's all going to get better. And by the way, she's going to Paris. She's a lucky kid. Yeah, she is. She's so. lucky to have us. Yep. Have a smash-tastic day, everybody. Bye, guys. Have a smash-tastic day.